Oh hi, it's me, Zaleg from Zaleg's Trains and Travels, where my transit adventures are weekly and my uploads are monthly. Today, I think I'm going to go to Santa Cruz because the Highway 17 Express has been a bus that I've wanted to ride for a while now, but never had the chance because it's not technically connected to Clipper, so I've just never bothered to pay the $7 fare. But today, that changes. Uh, for the first time in a little bit, my adventure is starting going south, so I'm hopping on a Caltrain to San Jose Diradon Station, where I will then transfer onto the Highway 17 Express. So the Highway 17 Express is a service run by the Santa Cruz Metro, and what I'm doing today is riding that down to Santa Cruz so I can explore around on the Santa Cruz Metro a little bit. San Jose and next to me is the Coast Starlight a whole 15 minutes early this train is heading towards Los Angeles far greater destination than Santa Cruz but here's my bus Okay, so I made it to my first stop of the day, Cavallaro Transit Center, and there's a drill singing in the background. Uh, I'm here to wait for route number 35A, which is going to take me to the town of Boulder Creek, which is a town that's rather special to me because there is a, sorry bug, there is a scout preserve there that I have visited many times, and I've always seen the bus stops and wondered what's it like to take a bus there, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have about 20 minutes or so until my bus comes, so yeah, now i got some time to kill. And what's interesting here is you see it says this info post is for Amtrak San Diego route. Now the San Diegan is what the was what the Pacific Surfliner used to be called, the one that runs between San Luis Obispo and San Diego. However, its former name was the San Diegan. So I wonder how old this sign is. So Boulder Creek is a tiny little town just located up Highway 9. In addition to going there, I also wanted to ride a once a day, no, four times a day maybe, bus route that's marked as a school trip. Why there's a school trip running at 12 in the afternoon is beyond me, but this bus route runs to the northernmost point in the Santa Cruz Metro system that you can get without um, getting on the Highway 17 Express. So I also want to ride that bus to that location. So something that I didn't notice was even on local buses, they have green lights. And that's cool. Now approaching Highway 9 and Middleton Avenue, Big Basin. So I made it on, I made it to Boulder Creek's Mountain Store. This is actually slightly north of the town itself. But I've got 40 minutes here before my next bus, which is a five minute hop up the mountain to Highway 9 and Sylvan, which is what I came all the way up here for. So, half an hour, and supposedly my bus will be here waiting for me at 12.03. The mountain store that this stop is named for is apparently closed at the moment. I don't know if that's like temporarily or permanently. But yeah, here we are, half an hour to go. It 
It's an old bus with flip grid indicators. It's awesome. Very unsurprisingly, I am the only one on this bus. Highway 9 and Sylvan. in Boulder Creek so I could just do a little exploring of the town and catch the next bus down to Santa Cruz. Um, my thoughts on that bus ride? Well, old buses look cool, but uh, the ride is less cool. So the town of Boulder Creek was very nearly damaged by the CZU fires back in September, but thanks to firefighters it wasn't, and it still remains the charming little town it is today. I also came by Boulder Creek to point out the mural which shows Boulder Creek and its former railroad history because yes, originally there was a railroad that ran down here. South Pacific Coast Railroad ran down here from uh, San Jose, Alameda. Now it's all gone of course. So that bus I took to uh, the northernmost stop only had one minute to stop there and the driver was already running behind schedule. So I'm assuming that he just stopped there briefly and then ran the bus around the turnaround loop. So I actually went further north than the northernmost station in uh, Santa Cruz Metro territory. So that was pretty cool. And just like that, that's my bus. Time to get some lunch, and then I will move on to my next destination of the day, Davenport. And right up there, number 42, that's my bus, and it looks like I get a nice old one again with the flip grid indicator. Cool. See, the reason I like these signs is because I think it looks cool when the little dots flap and show what their message is. Funny enough, this is the third time, the third time in a row that my adventure has taken me on Highway 1. So now that I'm here, I'm just gonna eat my lunch and hang out. So I took bus route 42 to here, Dave and Davenport, and I have about an hour and a half until the next one because this bus only runs four times a day. So I have an hour and a half here, and because route 42 runs in a loop, uh, I'm not going to be going back on Highway 1 the way I came. We get to go up Bonnie Dune Road and take the Empire Grade back down to Santa Cruz, so that should be fun. So these tracks that I'm standing on here are owned by Union Pacific and this route runs from here where here in Davenport where the tracks service the cement plant and run all the way down by the coast to Watsonville where there's a yard with the rest of the 
Union Pacific line. Uh, I'm standing in the middle of the tracks because this hasn't been used in many, many years. So, I don't think there's a train coming. Down there is the Davenport Pier, something that most people come here to visit. See, what I find weird is these gates are clearly recent. See the electronic bell up top and the electronic lights compared to the incandescence and the actual bell that normally adorns abandoned railroads. What's also interesting is that the light in the signal box is off, showing that there's no power connected to the gates. Next to Highway 1 is a road called Cement Plant Road that follows the cement plant that is now abandoned, so this should be an interesting walk. So I believe next to me here is the in-operation Cemex plant, so the one that I walked past was the abandoned one, but this one is still in operation, or at least there's construction going on near it. So here is another spur servicing the complex, and right here is a gate, one of the old ones, like I was talking about earlier. There's bell up top instead of a real one, and incandescent bulbs along the arms. But of course, since this one is abandoned, the lights have been turned inwards. Well, oh, I saw everything I wanted to see on Cement Plant Road, so it's time to start walking back and figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my time here. Well, there's a light on in the... underneath the whatever that thing is, so perhaps the cement plant isn't as abandoned as I thought it was. Well, it appears that my time at Davenport to a close. It was interesting seeing the, uh, the old railways and stuff like that, and the, uh, look at the pier from afar, but otherwise it was windy and cold, and I'm ready to get on the bus back to Santa Cruz. up 17 to San Jose. So today I came down from San Jose, went up to here, went back down to Boulder Creek, went back down to here, went across to here, and went up and around back to Santa Cruz. And now I'm on my way back to San Jose. Made it back to San Jose a full 15 minutes early, which I'm thrilled about because my original connection with Caltrain was going to be three minutes and now it's been pushed to 18. Okay, well, my day in Santa Cruz has concluded. Uh, just waiting for my Caltrain back home. Uh, some thoughts. It was a good day. I visited some places that I wouldn't normally have visited. Um, I guess it was just another adventure in sticking a bus where I didn't expect buses. Uh, Highway 17 Express was very comfortable, or at least the ride back was. Um, new bus does that. And I think I managed to ride every single type of bus in the Santa Cruz Metro fleet, so that was pretty exciting. So another thing that I'm happy about is that uh, Santa Cruz Metro is doing a half-off fare thing, so instead of paying 14 bucks for my day pass, I only paid 7 which I thought was a pretty good deal. And another thing that I'm not so happy about is Santa Cruz Metro isn't on Clipper, 
uh, I think they should change that, you know? If I can travel from Gilroy all the way to Cloverdale using Clipper Card, I think they should include Santa Cruz Metro in that too, but it is what it is. One stop before Palo Alto, been thrown off the train, and I would have to get on a separate train because this one suffered a mechanical failure. Exciting. Ten hours later, I am back here at Palo Alto Station, and very confused about the train breakdown, but I guess that it is what it is. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right, so one last thing to note, the train, the engine pushing my train from California Avenue to Palo Alto was the same engine as this morning, number 909, my favorite. So yeah, uh, actually, bye and see you next time, thanks.